Hi, my name is Mohit Kalra and I'm from Cambium Networks. Today in this video, I will be talking about the CN Pilot E410 Wi-Fi Enterprise Access Point, which is an indoor 802.11 AC Wave 2 access point. As part of this video, I will be talking about the CN Pilot E410 out-of-the-box components, different parts of this access points, the installation accessories, and how to power on this device. Let's take a look. First, let's begin by looking at what comes as part of this E410 box. This box comes with the quick start guide, the access point itself, ceiling mounting bracket along with the ceiling mounting plate. Also, it comes with the four ceiling mounting screws, one rubber foot, one PoE injector, and one power cord. Also remember that you would require a Phillips head screwdriver to complete the installation. And this access point is designed to be mounted on a wall or ceiling. On the front of this particular device, you can see a multicolored LED light, which actually provides the information on the status of this access point. When this LED is glowing amber in color, it actually signifies that the access point is powering up and initializing. When this LED turns green in color, it actually signifies that the access point is in service However, working in the standalone mode and not connected with our CN Maestro cloud controller. When this LED starts glowing blue in color, it actually means that the access point is in service and is connected with the CN Maestro cloud controller successfully. The reset button is located at the bottom of this particular device and can be pressed quickly to restart this unit and has to be held down for about 12 seconds to do the factory defaults for this particular device. In order to reach out to this reset button conveniently, you may actually have to remove this bottom view, which is very simply done by simply sliding the cover up and out. The main port is the Gigabit Ethernet port, which is labeled with ETH1 or PoE, which is required to power on this particular device. And for that, the Ethernet cable has to be connected with this PoE injector from the port, which is labeled with Gigabit Data Plus Power going into this E410 access point. And the other port, which is labeled with gigabit for data, has to actually go to the LAN and the DHCP server. Now that you're familiar with this access point, let's take a look at how it is installed. For this video, we will be focusing on the ceiling mounting for this access point. However, this access point can also be installed as a wall mount. For additional mounting options, please refer to the quick start guide. The first step requires you to make a hole in the ceiling tile to allow for this ethernet cable to pass from this particular ceiling tile. The next, we will use these four screws to secure the mounting plate and the mounting bracket together with this particular ceiling tile like this. After that, we actually have to feed in the ethernet cable through the hole from this particular ceiling tile going into the Gigabit Data Plus Power adapter. After that, the ethernet cable has to be connected with the ethernet one port of this access point to provide the connectivity. After that, you actually would have to align these two slots on this particular access point with these particular four slots on this particular mounting bracket to secure it firmly with this together. You will hear a snapping sound when this mounting bracket gets connected with this access point firmly. Now you can place the ceiling tile back into the ceiling to complete your installation. Of course, this can be done or installed using various ceiling materials. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for watching. Thank you.